Hello, everybody. YouTube again. And on iTunes. Yeah. Consistency. We're freaking multitasking. That's right. We saw Once Upon a Deadpool last night, so you can or cannot see it based on what we're about to tell you. <laughs> so, um, PG-13 version of Deadpool. Was it necessary? No. No. Absolutely not. No. Uh, fully unnecessary. And, and, like, when you think about it, it's it's really... Like, a, just a genius cash grab. <laughs> like, they didn't have to do much to, to, like, you know, add the scenes to make this happen. So, hey, yeah, it's just a little bit more editing and a couple of scenes with Fred Savage. And uh, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, what's nice about this movie is um, they you donated... You take the whole family! They donated some of the proceeds to um, uh, a charity, I think, Cancer, uh, Fudge Cancer. It was originally Fuck Cancer for Deadpool 2, uh -huh. but they cleaned it up for the family-friendly. Yeah, for friendly. the PG-13. Yeah, that's, that's, see? That's, that's good, good marketing. Like, these guys are just on it. <laughs> fudge Cancer. Fudge I support cancer. Fudge Cancer. Yeah. But um, Or if we had that, that cool, if we had that beeper that, that Deadpool has, we need to get one of those. <laughs> those are awesome. So this movie, it's the same movie. I mean, there's like maybe... Oh, one could say it's arguably worse. <laughs> there's maybe like two minutes of actual footage put into the movie part of it. But what really sells this movie and I think makes it worth going to see is the banter between Fred Savage and Ryan Reynolds. Uh, all the Fred Savage scenes are great. Yeah. Um, Fred Savage just does a, just a, an awesome job. The, the writing was good. Yeah, the, 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 they work well together. And uh, there's just a lot of chemistry between them, and it's really, really funny. And it, it just makes the whole experience worth it. I mean, when we say really funny, we're not, like, giving it its proper due. Like, <laughs> there is a sequence I laughed so hard at, and I can't even remember what it was, but I just remember, like, <laughs> gut laughs. Well, yeah, no, it's, uh, we don't want to ruin anything either, because this, this is the only reason to go watch the movie, so <laughs> I don't want to talk about any of the stuff that, that actually, like, they say or anything to do. Just because, otherwise, there's, there's no point in going. But uh, <laughs> definitely, like, yeah, it's like it's really, really good. Um, all the Fred Savage scenes, all the the Princess Bride <laughs> throwback scenes. <laughs> they don't, um, they don't use much of the footage from the trailers that they showed of the two of them talking back and forth. I mean, there's a little, maybe five percent of it is yeah, from the trailers. But yeah, it's mostly just new stuff you haven't seen. It's it's really good. It is. It's solid. Um, as far as, like, the pg 13 ing of Deadpool, like, they just took out all the blood, pretty much. I, I mean, most of the, the like, the swear words are, are, are taken out, but there's still, like, a good amount. So that wasn't, you know, that wasn't so different. And, uh, yeah, it's just, like, a few, you know, like, a few scenes that are clipped off a little shorter than you remember. And, and there is a couple extra scenes in there. Yeah, yeah, like maybe five minutes. But yeah, they definitely do throw a few extra jokes and some funny stuff. Do you need to go see this? If you have kids, take them. If you haven't taken them to the R-rated version. If that's <laughs> yeah, you probably already took them to the R-rated version, so it doesn't really matter. But this is good. Actually, you know, don't take your kids to this. Go watch this as an adult, just in, in enjoyment of all the Princess Bride throwbacks, because your kids don't get it. <laughs> they was, don't get it. <laughs> there was two ladies behind us. That were laughing throughout the whole movie. Yeah. So they obviously did not go to the R-rated version for whatever reason and mm -hmm. came out. And they found this enjoyable, but I've seen the R-rated version. And it's not better than that. But the Fred Savage stuff arguably could be considered better than but that. I, I, I need a version where they have all of the, the stuff. You know, it's the R-rated version with the Fred Savage scenes. I, I, I need that. Because that is the perfect Deadpool. Like, it's... It's so good. It would be so good. I mean, like, it would kind of not make, I mean, like, some of the jokes would kind of fall just because, you know, they're, they're joking about how they can't curse and stuff like that. But uh, I don't care. Like, I still want all that stuff in there. That's, it's just the best way to watch it. Yeah, there's a petition to get Deadpool to host the um, the Oscars. The Oscars. I'm down for this. But, but yeah, I am too. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I can't think they should get him and Fred Savage to do it together. Yeah. Not Ryan Reynolds and Fred Savage, no. but Deadpool, Deadpool and Fred Savage. That would be awesome. Yeah, or at least do the opening act together. Cause or, you know, yeah, yeah, we'd have to see something. Because yeah, no, they have such great chemistry. It's, it's just really, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. And I'd like to see them, I'd like to see them in a buddy cop movie. You know? <laughs> like, who doesn't want to see that? All right, we're going to rate this movie two different ways. 
So right. the first rating we're going to do on the Fred Savage scenes gets a three out of three geeks for me. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely worth it. Uh, they are awesome. The PG-13 version of the Deadpool movie we've already seen, it's like a 1.5 out of 3 for me. Uh, yeah, I would say just go watch the original. I mean, it, it, I, I don't feel like it's much more like gratuitous, you know, than than what you're getting. So, uh, you know, I don't, yeah, I, I agree. There's like 1 out of 3. Like, there's no, there's no real... But, I mean, like, there are some extra scenes. Again, like, there are some scenes that they took out, like the scene of the old lady and, 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 the, and on the bench... Where Deadpool's just like, you know, anyway, freaking, uh, yeah, there's a couple good scenes added in there, but it's not really anything that you have to see. Stay so. till the end. This is the first Marvel movie to come out post Stan Lee's Fox passing. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so stay until after the credits. It's a little touching tribute to Stan Lee that I found absolutely surprising and yeah fun and to it watch. was really heartfelt and uh it's really well you know it's, it's pretty short but uh i was very surprised and 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 pleasantly so and uh yeah it was definitely worth it for that too i i, I didn't uh, didn't see that coming so Rest uh, in peace, stanley three geeks podcast made our return to youtube last week without yeah. max yeah. Not great camera angles. We'll work, we'll, we will work on that. But if you've ever wanted to see Fuzzy and Dan cuddle, I think there's a few shots of that. All right. Fuzzy yeah. just has a thing for cuddling people. I'm, uh, I'm glad I missed it. <laughs> Fuzzy's a cuddler. Dan's a hugger. So yeah. they're like best yeah, friends. They're, they're, they're symbiotic. <laughs> anyway, check us out. Uh, ThreeGeeks.Ninja. Go to Patreon. We do have stuff coming for Patreon. We just... We're, we're getting there. <laughs> anyway, from all of us, have a wonderful day. Recycle your droids. <laughs>